I'd like to show you how to check the transform, the output transformer of a, well we're going to use a Marshall amplifier here for starters. Uh, I've got this already connected. I don't have the amplifier plugged in, of course. It's uh, totally cold. And I removed the output tubes. And I've got a variac that I've connected to the output tube sockets. One lead of the variac is going to pin three of one output tube. The other end is going to pin three of the other output tube. Now this is where the output transformer is connected to the tube sockets. I'm doing it this way for simplicity. We don't have to unsolder anything or take anything apart. I've got two meters here. The, this meter is connected to those same points. One lead is going to pin three of one output tube and the other one is going to pin three of the other output tube. Both meters are set for AC voltage. The second meter I've got hooked to an ordinary quarter inch plug and I'm going to plug it into the speaker output jack in the back of the amp. I've got the output set for 16 ohms. Now what we're going to do is we're going to give it some voltage with the variac until we see about a half a volt on the secondary. The secondary is the one plugged into the speaker jack of course and it's hard to get it exactly to 0.5 volts. That's pretty close. Uh, the reason I'm using this, um, the 0.5 figure, uh, is we can just simply double the voltage on this and it'll give us our turns ratio. You could also divide this number into this number and it would come out to the same um, turns ratio. Let's take our calculator here. We see that it's we're given the primary 7.382 times 2 equals 14.764 to 1 turns ratio. Now in order to find out your primary impedance you would simply square your turns ratio and multiply times the, imp uh, the speaker impedance, which this speaker impedance is set for 16 ohms. Now if we multiply that times itself, 14.76 I'll use, and then multiply that times the impedance that we have the impedance selector set, that's 16, we see that it comes out to 3486 ohms primary impedance. So it's right in the ballpark of the 3500 ohms um, primary impedance. Now if we wanted to check the other settings we could simply change the output selector to the 8 ohm setting, readjust the variac such that we get a half a volt on the secondary kind of hard to get it exactly there. You move the variac just a little bit and it seems to move quite a bit. Let's see, there it is. 0.506, that's pretty close to a half a volt. And we see that in order to get that we had to give the primary side 10.313. Three. We can multiply this times 2 and we see that our turns ratio when set to the 8 ohm setting is 20.62 to 1. We'll square that times 20.62 and then we'll multiply it times the 8 ohms that we have the speaker impedance selector set for and we see that our primary impedance works out to 3402.46 ohms when using the 8 ohm uh, speaker impedance setting. This looks good to me. We could also check the 4 ohm, same way, set it to 4 ohms, readjust the variac until we get a half a volt on the speaker side, which is the secondary. Okay, we've got it to 0 0.501 on the secondary side. And in order to do that, we had to give it 14.28, we'll use 14.28, 14.28 times 2, 
tells me that it's a 28.56 to 1 turns ratio when using the 4 ohm speaker impedance setting. Now if we multiply that times itself, times 28.56, and then multiply that times the 4 ohms that we have the selector set on, we get 3,262 ohms primary impedance when using the 4 ohm setting. This is still within 10 percent. This output transformer looks good. Had there been a short in the output transformer, the numbers wouldn't have been nearly so consistent. Let's take a moment to look at a fender. I've got a twin reverb fender amp here and we've got the same type of connection as we did on the Marshall. The difference being of course this has four output tubes. Now, on a four output tube amp, two tubes on one side are connected to one end of the transformer and the two pin threes on the other side are connected to the other end of the primary of the output transformer. We've removed the output tubes and we've connected the variac to the two center output tube sockets on pin 3. We could have used the two outside sockets. We could have used uh, one outside socket on this one and one inside socket. It doesn't really matter which ones you hook them to as long as you go pin 3 of one of these two and pin 3 of one of these two. This is so we can monitor the amount of voltage that we give the transformer from the variac. We have the quarter inch plug hooked up to the second meter and we're going to plug this into the speaker jack of the twin and we're going to turn on the variac and adjust it for a half a volt. Okay, that looks like about a half a volt there and it looks like we had to give it 11.5 oh, we'll call it 11 volts times 2 equals, that's a 22 to 1 turns ratio. Now we multiply that times 22 and multiply that times 4 ohms, which is the impedance of this twin, and we get 1936 ohms. This is well within tolerance. Most twins will measure out about 1900 ohms. Now it's interesting to note that the 4 ohm output transformer on this amp is the same transformer they use on the dual showman. So if you have a dual showman or a showman and you're wondering if it's a dual showman or a single showman, if these figures are close to the twin figures, it's a dual showman.